Hi, I'd like to show you how easy it is to add a new field to GoZinc and also to kind of show off some of the pro to server uh, zincs that can, you can do as well as, you know, zinking from FileMaker Go to server. Um, so here's our mobile file. This would normally be running on your iPad. Let me just move this bigger. Um, but I've got it just running here on my desktop. And let's define a new field in the mobile file. Now this whole thing I'm going to show you, there are very detailed instructions for this, but um, let's call it the ship date. Um, but I just kind of want to show you what it's like. When you do this yourself, you'll be following the instructions. So let me place this field in the layout here. Um, it's the ship date. ship date. Right, great. And give it a little date selector here. Um, somewhere. Date. Oh, it's hidden. Right. Drop down calendar. Cool. So, um, right, we can't edit this one because it's already been sent. Let's work on one that hasn't been sent to our server yet. There's our date. Um, I think I want to give it a little label here. Um, so now that we've added the field to our mobile uh, file, we're going to um, add it to our hosted file. It, it, I think it's actually already there. Let me take a look at it. So here's this is GoZinc. Um, normally these files in host would be on our server. Uh, invoices is our um, hosted file in mobile here is the file I have open. So invoices is like our mothership file and here is the sh ship date. So we already have one. So now that we've got the field in both places, how do we package it up to send it to our server? We switch layouts. We go to the out box, right? Because we're sending the invoice out and we go to the field mapping layout. This is where we map the fields that leave our mobile file and go to the server and we just pick our ship date, shipping date. Great. And give it a little label. So once I've added it to this layout, I'm done. It's going to go up the next time we package an invoice. But I probably want to uh, click validate here, not only to validate that the field is right, but also to save some instructions uh, for future reference. So this will get exported to the desktop. And there it is. And these are instructions that are customized for this integration, for this layout. And they tell me what tables and field names I have to work with. And there's my shipping date. So we'll use that when we go to uh, teach the server about this. Um, so yeah, let's switch back to invoice. And we don't actually make the change in our mothership. We make the mapping change in GoZinc connector, the intermediary file that kind of manages all the connections between Go clients, Pro clients, and um, our mothership. And we do that in scripts, um, in GoZinc connections. These are the only scripts you have to edit. And we have a section for bringing the data into the house and a section for the, excuse me, into the host and a section for the field mappings. And I'm going to edit the invoice fields because the date is a fact of the invoice. Again, there are good instructions for all this, but basically for every field you want to work with, you have a pair of script steps. You duplicate them. And then you say which field you want to send the data to. So I'm going to pick uh, ship, a, ship date. And then what's the variable that you want to set in there? And here's where you might forget. Is it ship date or shipping date? And so we make reference to our dictionary. And these are all the fields I have access to. So shipping date is the one I want here. And we'll click OK. And we actually have some error trapping in case you get that wrong. Um, but now that that's done, let's see it work. So let's go back to our mobile file and uh, send this one. So it was 914. And um, let's process it. Uh, let's add a little event here. So it's got some more stuff going on. Um, okay, 914, upload. It's very quick. And then um, like we do on Go, we're going to clean up the connection. Um, so it doesn't ask for files if you get out of network range or something. And let's take a look at this um, in GoZing Connector and see where it went. So move over to GoZing Connector, open it back up. And we now have a new record in the inbox, and we can send this over to our mothership and make sure that that date made it. All right, one went successfully. And open up the mothership and invoices. Go to the next one. And here, wait, where is it? Up at the top. Oh, yeah, 914. And there it is. So it made it over. So we added a new field. The neat thing here is that the development on the mothership and in the mobile file doesn't have to be the same. We don't have to have the same field names. Development doesn't have to happen at the same time. Uploading all this. I always like to do this. It's kind of cool. Um, you get a little progress bar, and then we clean up the connection. So there you have it. Um, zinking from pro to server, and a little demo on how to add a field. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.